Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. This is Greg and today we're going to celebrate the birthday of a hero of mine. Most of our videos are completely G. I want to warn you right now, this one may be a bit PG, so if you're in a school, you may want to turn this off right now. We're celebrating the birthday of Tom Lehrer. He was born on April 9th, 1928, and he's going to be turning 90 this year in 2018. And we're going to celebrate by making some candy. You may be saying, who's this guy, Tom Lehrer? Well, you should find out. A lot of videos of him performing are on YouTube. He performed starting in the mid-50s, and he ended up stopping somewhere around the early 70s. But you've probably heard some of his music. If not, you've heard music that was influenced by him. He put the periodic table to music. He wrote songs like The Hunting Song, and he wrote songs about World War III on the theory that if we're going to have any great songs about World War III, we better do them now. And ironically, there'll be no Tom Lehrer music in this video because I couldn't get rights to it. We've already flavored the sugar orange as we pour it on the table, and now it's cooling. You can control a lot of a fruit's flavor by balancing the citric acid. And as we add the citric acid, we're adding very little to this orange-flavored candy. Our goal is to make it taste like a mandarin orange. Very sweet, very, very, very slightly tart. And we're going to put this through a roller, which is going to make slices that are going to look like mandarin orange slices. Tom Lehrer takes life as a challenge. Somebody tells him not to do something, and he figures out a way to follow the rules and do it anyway. Somebody once said when he was working for the NSA when he was in the military, you can't bring alcoholic beverages in this facility. And that's when he developed Jell-O shots. Yes, Tom Lehrer is the inventor of Jell-O shots. In this case, somebody once said, rhyme something with orange. You can't. Nobody could rhyme anything with orange. And so he did. And that's why we're doing orange slices. These are not just orange slices, these are rhymes with orange slices. And before you think I'm dragging on about this poem, I'm saving it for the end of the video. It's also in the uh, text description of the video, and in that description you're also going to find links to my favorite Tom Lehrer songs. Lofty Pursuits has a lot of cool things on its walls, and one of its things is a great collection of Tom Lehrer memorabilia, perhaps the best in the world. We have personal correspondence, we have player piano rolls of his music, we have posters from performances in the 50s. A lot of cool stuff. And this is one of the reasons we're going to celebrate him by making orange slice candy. So as the candy cools, I'm going to think back to Brooklyn. I had a good friend that lived around the corner named Jonathan Mazer. And Jonathan, he had a copy of one of the Tom Lehrer albums. And we played it endlessly. I'm surprised we didn't wear it out. It came from his father. We would sing the songs constantly and use jokes about Lobachevsky in school, and no one would understand what we were saying. I remember he had this low wooden cabinet with a record player in it, and we would open it up, and that would be the first thing we'd pop in every time we'd go over to his house and play Monopoly or things like that. So on top of just being a cool musician, this is yet another connection to my childhood, which is what a lot of Lofty Pursuits is all about. His first album was Songs by Tom Lehrer, and millions of copies of this album sold. And the fun thing is, they've been sold over the past 65 years. It essentially has never gone out of print. And we have one of those first 400 copies that he self-produced on display in the store. Because it's been around so long, it's been released in every format I think possible. 7-inch, 10-inch, 12-inch albums, cassette tape, reel-to-reel -reel tapes, 8-track tapes, CDs, of course, and it's also been in player piano rolls, and you can buy all the songs on iTunes as well. To prevent these old machines from wearing out, we have to regularly oil them up with a food-grade oil, and that keeps everything moving past each other smoothly. To keep the temperature even throughout, we have to keep turning the candy on the heating table, and pieces are cut off to put through the machines. Dom Lehrer was a child prodigy. At 15, he was accepted to Harvard. At 18, he got his degree. At 19, he got a master's degree in mathematics from Harvard, and he went on to teach after that. He was not only a musician, he was a mathematics professor. He toured the United States, and then he toured Europe and Australia. And at a certain point, he was doing music for TV shows, like the news show That Was the Week That Was. He also wrote songs for The Electric Company, a PBS children's show, and a Prairie Home Companion. But he was known also for a show called Tom Foolery. Tom Foolery was produced by Cameron McIntosh, the great musical producer who produced shows like Cats and Minnie Sondheim and Andrew Lloyd Webber Productions. 
Another treasure of our collection is a poster of the New York premiere of the show, signed by both Cameron McIntosh and Tom Lehrer. I actually tracked Tom Lira down once in the 1980s, and we had a very pleasant hour-long or so conversation that I treasured, but it became pretty clear that he just didn't like to be bothered. So it's 30 years later, and hopefully I haven't bothered him too much with this video. Not only are the songs still in print, they're being used in other mediums. The rapper 2 Chains wrote Tom Lehrer for permission to use samples from his song The Old Dope Peddler from that first album from 1953. Mr. Lehrer, at age 84, wrote back, As sole copyright owner of the old dope peddler, I grant you <laughs> permission to do this. Please give my regards to Mr. Chains, or may I call him too? And the poem is a short one. It's just a little rhyme he made as an example. I think it was on an AMA on Reddit, but I can't seem to find it right now. It goes, Eating an orange while making love makes for a bizarre enjoyment thereof. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to us here on YouTube, like us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and if you want to try our candy for yourself, you can get it on our website, www.pd.net. If you're ever in Tallahassee, we're right off the I-10 exit of Tallahassee, and you can see us in person. We're open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. most days, but we don't make candy all the time, but if you're lucky, you can see us make candy. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you in Tallahassee. Gregory's bow ties are provided by ties.com, purveyors of fine neckwear to everyone. They also have socks. Check them out at ties.com. Please remember to spay and neuter your pets.